Oh, the Emperor! What is this? It can't be. Get away from the center, right away. Our first encounter with the Emperor. Uh oh. What's going on? Wait, are we all split up? We have to be going with C and Lapis. Okay, everyone is split up. Really? Wait, Red is by herself? Oh, Jesus. I can't believe they prepared a trap like this. Renny? Renny? Oh, God. Oh, this was part of, like, the promotional stuff. I was waiting for you, Renny. We wanted to find you so badly. Papa. Mama. I wanted to meet you as well. But for you to call me Renny. That wouldn't happen anymore. You're watching then, Professor? So you noticed then. This is pretty nasty, Professor. It's more like something Campanella would do. You have a point. But are you sure about what you just did? I prepared those two just for you. I've already graduated from playing with dolls. I'm an adult after all. Or rather, do you still hate those two so much for abandoning you that you wanted to kill them? Of course not. They invited me to a meal the other day. Oh, well, that's lovely. But if I had known that, I would prepare the real ones instead of those toys. I dare you to lay one finger on that family. I would chase you to the end of the earth and make sure that not one bit of your flesh still exists. I'm joking. I don't go out of my way to do anything that doesn't contribute to my research after all. You never change, do you? I merely have my priorities straight. Now, it may be a bit late to ask, but I don't suppose you're interested in returning to me. I am still regretting letting such an exquisite test subject as yourself slip through my fingers. I appreciate the appraisal, but I have no intention to return. Even if I went, my meddling older brother and sister would surely follow me. Well, that is too bad. It appears that I have some visitors here as well. Well, let us discuss further later. If you all survive to the end safely, that is. I'm used to this, but I wonder if the others are alright. Are you really that nervous being alone with me? No, that's not it. It's just, when the others were here, I was hiding it. But I'm quite frightened. You are? Dolls can feel fear? That's happened several times before. I had figured that those were just preset reactions that you had for certain situations. I see. So you really were just frightened. 
How rude. Scary things would scare anyone. But I've seen you dispatch huge monsters with a swing of your weapon. What do you have to be so frightened about there? Or here? I'm scared to go in any further. If the data is still there and my memories return, I'm scared. Are those memories not something you yourself wanted? They are, they should be, but suddenly, I don't know anymore. It's only been several days since I woke up, but I met you and Nadia and Swin, and we did so much. It's been so fun. I woke up without remembering anything, but these memories from the past few days are my own. They are who I am now. But, what if when I get my memories back, my body and heart are artificial, but these memories are real in mine? But if other memories come back and these are pushed aside, then... If that happened, who would I become? So why am I here? Why am I alive? What am I? Well, that's... This is very distasteful. My name is Lapis. Who are you? Who? Pretending to be me. Be careful. There are that many dolls just like me. So then, what in the world am I? If they're also called Lapis, does that mean I am not Lapis? I am... I found you. You are Lapis. Have you forgotten your own words? No matter what happens, you are you. So this is no different. No matter how many of the same type exist, no matter how many your, how your memories change, you are you. But... That's for humans. Humans have souls. Their existence is definite. Dolls don't have souls. And the only memories I have that prove who I am can so easily be replaced. Humans can lose their memory as well. 
Where do you think the soul lives? In the heart? In the brain? Or does it live in your entire self? No human alive has ever been able to answer that question. That is something only Adios herself knows. If that is the case, then why do you assume a soul cannot live in an artificial being? You are Lapis. Only you are Lapis Rosenberg. It seems they can't produce tears. They're a bit half baked, you know. Shut up! Don't pretend to be me. This name, these memories, they're all mine. I'll never give them to anyone. Okay, now they're angry. I figured it'd come to this. I'm gonna destroy every single one of them. Help me out, Rufus. Yeah, boy. Of course, there's more. Oh, my God. 
Good? Oh my god, okay. Wow, nine, 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 nine. Oh, my God. Ah, did you see that? That's the true strength of Lapis Rosenberg. So it's just that outward appearance that is the same. This is not exactly my area of specialty, but it does seem that these are archaisms of the society. I did hear that Rosenberg was connected to the 13 factors in Ouroboros, but... Would a meister such as him make these cheap products? So what do you mean? I mean, these are, I mean that these are not Rosenberg dolls, but merely imitations. Hmm. Yeah, looking closely, you're right. Well, I can accept that. Even still, the fact that these are fakes means the data from the real one must exist. Beyond there. Sourcewind and Nade gonna encounter the Emperor now? Not this again. I really have a bad feeling about all of this. Long time no see, my masterpieces. Oh god. Oh god. It's him. This can't be. Emperor, how could you? You wish to say I should be dead, and yet, here I stand. And not just that. You scattered those things all over, but you have them all there. The artifacts that allow you to manipulate gravity. The heavenly regalia. I had to borrow the strength of some supporters to gather these. 
To porters? I am now aiding the new leader of this land. You mean Supreme Leader Rufus? Is that an order from the organization? No, it is my own decision. The organization is not involved, nor are the other wardens. Let us cease the pointless chatter. It is our long-awaited reunion. Let us get to the main story. Return to my side, and your betrayal of the organization will be excused. You can't be serious. This is not a suggestion. It is an order. You are tools whom I raised and controlled, who exist only to kill. Though I was not in top shape, you were able to defeat me and flee from the organization. Based on that, I am valuing your potential highly. And so, return to my side as the tools that you are. I shall re-educate you and raise you into the strongest weapons imaginable. To the point where you can kill any target. No matter who. You chased us this far and that's what you want to say? Bullshit. We nearly paid for our freedom with our lives. We swore to live as humans. Now you want us to return to being tools who exist to kill people? I'd rather die. Wow, you were able to overcome this gravity? Or perhaps you were used to it. That's right. We've already long since overcome your ability. Nadia, don't overdo it. I'm not. I'm with you, Su Chen. Nothing is impossible. Very well, then. We shall begin our re education in this place. Right now. You have a big mouth for someone who barely survived. We'll give you another one way ticket to purgatory for free. for freedom again. You become stronger than that time. Nice one, dude. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. You've become stronger than that time. You've been fighting off pursuers from the organization ever since. Of course we're stronger. You really are su supreme subjects. So then I will. Isn't that enough? What? Let's stop this farce already. What do you mean? You should have noticed by now too, Su-chan. It's a little quirks during battle. Yeah, it was faint, but something is off. The way fighting is about the same as the last time we fought the Emperor, but the specific angles of movement, the way he looks ahead at the next move, how he evades. It's all quite different from the last Emperor. That means you two are not the only ones who have changed since then. Yes, we changed for good reason. But in your case, it's not like you've got stronger or weaker, and it's not like you're faking. You changed for no reason. What do you mean by that? It's not just that. For Emperor, absolute control is his motto, and he destroys all those who betray the organization. Even if you put a condition on it, you said you would excuse our betrayal. That directly contradicts the policy set by the organization. For the former you, that would be unthinkable. No way. Are you trying to say? Right. This person is not the emperor who died. He is a fake. Almost indistinguishable from the real one. <laughs> Splendid. Who's there? Well, who I am is not important in this case. But you there. That analysis was impressive. Well, we were pros. We made sure he was dead. And if he was cooperating with Supreme Leader Rufus, it would actually be more natural to doubt his identity. And your analysis of the situation and data processing are even more outstanding. How about it? Would you like to become a test subject for my experiment experiments? What? Who is this guy? I'm not following. I don't have enough organic parts, so I wanted an excellent specimen such as yourself. I just rejected you and you're already going after someone else? You really have no self-control, Doctor. I merely lack superior subjects. I won't complain if both come along with me. I am their current employer. Would you please stop business negotiations with them? You came. You're all safe then. So you've all arrived then. Did you enjoy the entertainment?
What is it? You're in my way. I am in the middle of re-education. Your intrusion was not welcome. You're still saying that? We already know you weren't the real emperor. And so what? The original emperor is no longer in, the, in this world. That would make me the true emperor as the one who has his memory and his power. And my obsession with you two is all the proof needed that I am who I say I am. This guy. You know you're just making things more complicated. Yes, let's settle this. But in this situation... I don't really think we're going to lose. We are not. Allies? Is this not splendid? People joined in helping each other towards achieving a common goal. How wonderful. So that is why... You have already expired. This is... You can alter your own gravity. Friendship is a fitting concept only for humans. Do your friends know you are not human at all? That you are not mere tools whom I raised? That you took so many lives with those hands you couldn't even wipe the blood off them if you tried. No, that's... Do you think any of that will change by you pretending to be human? You are nothing more than weapons who kill as ordered. As long as that is your past, and no matter how hard you struggle, you will never become human. You have no right to friends. Don't bully them. Oh? Do you protect- Do you intend to protect those pre-imitations for humans? We don't have to cover for anyone. This is all your fault. Concerning we don't share a heartwarming past, we can't unfortunately judge other people's chosen path. With the sins we carry, anything that a couple of assassins have done can't even compare. And I really don't have anything to do with human standards of merit. How unpleasant. I wasn't interested in these extras, but if you intend to get in my way... Then, I will end you all here. You're the one at his end. Nadia, all set? Yep. That's all thanks to you guys for buying me time. What was that? If you really do have Emperor's memories, then you should know my area of expertise. Analysis is complete. I fully calculated the difference in the power of those artifacts to the originals. Unfortunately, your chance of success is... ...now completely gone. So that's the story. We are the only ones who will decide our own fate. You have no right to intervene. I don't care if you're real or fake, I'll settle our past. Win in 40 turns for bonus RP. That's a lot to ask. You just killed her? Oh, 
God. I need something that can protect me from that. What is this exactly? Oh my god, seven- oh, okay. I see, I see. It's a massive buff. But I have to survive first and foremost. <laughs> oh, I have to survive. I think I- okay, I need to redo. I need to restart. I just need the- I just need the- a good start. That's it. I can make this possible. Freaking praise. You're supposed to revive up down here! What are you doing? Oh my god. Thank you. Like that! You're supposed to do that! Actually alive? Raise your life. Oh, 
感謝しよう行くとしよう勝機を逃すか行くと耐えきれる耐えたいお返ししようお姉ちゃんごめんね私の番だな Is he weak to anything? Mirage. Decisions, decisions. I I need to play it safe. I have to play it safe. Heal him out right.
ターゲットこれぞ我が行こう行くとしよう勝機を逃すな行くぞこれぞ我が行こうどうしようかな覚悟はいかない Oh, thank God. Oh, this is a very slow grind. I need to heal Nadia. Oh my god, Nadia has to get healed. A gasp. No one can die. No one's allowed to die. What the fuck? Excuse me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you little shithead. No, I'm not losing like this. You gotta be kidding me. Uh-uh. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm in a predicament. Um, I guess I'll do this. I really need a Valiant Rage right now. I need a Valiant Rage. This is so risky. I hate to... Shit. I... Swin and not... Okay, the only people not buffed are... Lapis and Nadia. I honestly have no idea what the trigger is for it.
Oh my fucking god. That's actually really not good. I can't. F Ugh, fuck. I'm so close, dude! dead like I have to go full offense with Rufus I can't there's nothing else I can do to do for him um I have no more incense I can only ask craft with Rufus that's the best thing I can do that's probably minimum like 50k damage or like at most 50k so then it comes down to Nadia Nadia cannot revive anybody um and then I've ran I've ran on backup but she's not gonna do shit I don't think she can finish him. There's no way. <gasps> Wait. I should have linked. I should have. Ah, I forgot to link. Shit. I forgot to link. Wait, can I do it? Can I... Can I do it? I don't know. I think this is the only thing I can actually legitimately do. Shoot, if I had the link, that would have been so good. And now I'm a bit conflicted here. She's not... I can't, like... She can't possibly do anything before he goes again. I don't have, like... I think I just go for this. I think, I mean, if I die, I die, dude. I don't think I can do enough. I really don't think I can do enough. But I'm gonna try it anyway. You know what? There's actually one other thing I can do. It's like the literally last thing I can possibly do. No! Shit! 
If he dodged it, that would've been so good. Twenty-five, dude! I can't do that much! There's no way I can do that much. Not uh. I have some hope actually. I have some hope. I have hope. This is the only thing I can do right now. This is the only thing I can do. Alright, Rufus. Come on, man. I got insanely lucky with him deciding to cast something and he couldn't go right after. Rufus. Oh, Jesus. 25 minutes of pain. Ugh. Oh, well. I had to use it, man. I don't think I had any other choice. I had to use my Zerm to give myself a chance to win because I do not, did not want to do that again. Yeah, that'll take like five minutes. I have a bunch of EXP potions anyway. God, finally. I did that 100 turns over bo over the over the um, optional. How could I, like this? I refuse. Is it over? It's over. She was just a machine all along. Does that mean the Supreme Leader is too? Is that right? No idea. All I can say is I don't have a twin brother or anything. But still... Still, it is impressive. It's like in a different league from the other toys the Doctor has made before. Not in a good way. What horrible remarks. A ghost. No, it's not. Probably. So you were spying after all. Well, it was quite an interesting scene. As I said before, the reason I made the fakes was merely for play. If I was really trying, of course, they would be far stronger. Though, perhaps not as good of a reproduction as his. I do not feel it's necessary to go that far. So the doctor himself is accepting that there's some technology you can't compete with. What in the world? It appears that you're indeed the director of the 13 factories. Dr. F. Novartis. Please excuse my late introduction. I am indeed F. Novartis, the sixth anguist of Ouroboros, and I serve as the overseer of the 13 factories. Former Governor Eurifus, I was pleased to meet you during the time of the twilight. Yes, I should thank you for all the technical expertise you brought us back then. It feels like some dangerous people are having a pretty sketchy conversation. I get the feeling that we'd enjoy life more if we didn't get too wrapped up in that. I think you're right about that. But this is indeed a strange relationship. To think that you would be working together with that Rufus Alberea. I don't think this is correct, but are you just involved in everything going on in Crossbell? 
Or could you be the one pulling the strings? Of course not. I am merely cooperating, providing some technical support. Although the result would be the same with or without me helping. Even if it would mean the omission of certain processes. And so we can assume... Can we assume that your cooperation here is related to some plan of the society? No, that is a misunderstanding as well. The plans of the society and Crosspell and the Empire ended with the conclusion of the rivalries. I'm acting now purely out of my own personal interest. It has nothing to do with her will. I guess I'm not one to talk, but you really aren't tied down by anyone, aren't you? True to your own desires, I suppose? <laughs> to think I would be analyzed through the astral code. I never thought such a thing sh would reach all the way to me. That code? What? There was no way I would ever miss such a fascinating spectacle. And so that is why I'm cooperating with them to observe from a front row seat. In other words, Dr. Novartis, during this incident you are taking the side of the Supreme Leader, but you do not have any intentions to actively stand against us. Can we assume that? Yes, exactly that. Excessive interference on my part can cause the results to be distorted. Well, that makes me feel better. Hey, Professor. If it's that interesting. Are you certain you can't tell me just a bit more about whatever it is that drew your interest? Of course I can. After all, it's been quite a while since I've felt this excited. It's a certain kind of singularity, or wait, no, more precisely. Oh, no, no, I cannot. I spoke a bit too much there, but I can't give any more info than that for free. That's too bad. Oh, then I shall be taking my leave here. Alright, the thing you are searching for should be just inside. As the one overseeing this place in the stead of your Grosenberg, I believe that is the least I can do. You're quite something, saying that after remodeling his entire place. Please excuse me, then. I'll be looking forward to see how you perform. Just inside. Well then, let us go. I feel like I know this place. A fragment of your memories or something? No. I don't actually remember it, but I know it. That kind of feeling. It may be because you were constructed here. The place Lachan was born. If there was going to be data left over, it would be here. I've never seen any of these devices before. I don't think any of us know how to operate this. Can take care of that, don't worry. If that is actually there, I can restore it. All that's left is. So, have you decided? Yes. It's fine. After all, no matter what happens, I'm Lapis, right? I know that you'll always find me, Rufus. Uh, right. Well, get ready. Oh. 
It's over. How do you feel? Wait, don't tell me you don't remember us, Lachan. No, I remember you. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. But it seems that my memories didn't actually return. At least mostly. It came this far. Was it all a waste? No, that's not true. The data is there, but it's sort of like it's locked behind a bunch of doors. But it's fine. I know how to open them. If I meet a person named Ian... Ian? I'll be able to remember everything. That name. Well, in that case, our next destination is decided. Ian Grimwood? And that's the end of Rufus Route 3.